questions, Adam? Okay, this is inequalities unit solving one step inequalities. We have already solved one step equations. So we basically are not even learning anything new this unit. Basically reviewing. There is one minor, minor detail that's going to be new, but that minor, minor detail is going to get both some, a lot of you. It got me when I was in eighth grade when I learned this. I learned it in eighth grade. Back in the day, this used to be taught in eighth grade. Yeah. So, we have already solved one step. So inequalities can be solved just like in, what did I just say? Equation. But with a few minor exceptions. We will talk about in a little bit. So we always like to isolate the variable by using blank or opposite operation. What is another word for opposite operation? Inverse. The inequality must remain balanced. Here is the new part. Might want to circle, put a star, something. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality sign is flipped. We're going to go into that in a little bit. First, we're going to review. That's the only new part. Okay, do we agree? We have seen a problem that looks similar to this before. Yes. It just had an equal sign instead. And I see a plus 5, to, so to solve this I would have to... Add. Subtract, subtract, subtract 5. Subtract 5. Sorry, my following YouTubers. <laughs> we would subtract 5 before we used to bring down the inequality uh, the equal sign now we're bringing down the inequality sign what is 16 minus 5 11. 11. 11 so what this says is any number that is less than or equal to 11 will make this e inequality true well, what is a number that's less than or equal to 11? 9. 10. I heard 9. What it? Shh. I heard 9. 9 plus 5. What is 9 plus 5? 14. Is 14 less than or equal to 16? Yes. It's not a question. It's a true or false. True. It is true. So I checked it. I could have picked 0. Is 0 less than 11? Yes. So 0 plus 5 is 5, is five less than or equal to 16? Yes. It, it's true. not a question. That's true. So any number in the world. Right, Blake? Mm -hmm. Can we write something down? She just said... So instead of me sitting here writing every number that could make this inequality true, I gave an inequality solution, and I can give a graph. If I sat here and listed all the numbers that would make this true, I would be writing until I'm dead, and I still wouldn't be finished because it goes on forever. I need to graph this now. So what number needs to be included in my graph? What's my solution? 11. 11. So 11 needs to be included in your graph. Um, I'll count by ones. Does it matter what you count by? No. Not particularly. Open or closed circle? Open. Closed because it has an equal sign on 11. Now, is 10 less than or equal to 11, or is 12 less than or equal to 11? 10. So that means I shade to the left. 
This graph now shows all the solutions that could make this inequality true. So was that anything really new? We combined yes yesterday's lesson and equations all in one thing. Let's look at number three. What operation is going on between 12 and G? Multiplication. multiplication. Opposite of multiplication is? Division. Division. Who am I dividing by? 12 gets kicked out. I get G less than 4. So any number that is less than 4 will make sense in this problem. Well, I like to be smart about math. Because I, I want to pick numbers that are not going to cause me a great deal of stress. So what are some numbers that you like multiplying and dividing by that does not cause you a great deal of stress? One. Two. Two's good. What's even better than two? One. One. What's even better than one? Zero. Those are great numbers. So if any of those numbers are less than four, they're pretty great to use. Zero's my favorite. Is zero less than four? Is zero less than four? Yes. So 12 times zero, what is 12 times zero? Zero. Is zero less than 48? Yes. So that's true. I could have picked any number smaller than four, it would have worked out. So what number do I need to four. use to graph? Four. four. I'm going to get crazy and I'm going to put four right there. I'm also going to get real crazy and I'm going to go by twos. count by twos. That's crazy. Uh oh, I'm even getting into the negatives. So is this open or closed circle? Open. On four. Well, is 6 or 2 less than 4? No. 2. Is 2 or 6 less than 4? 2. 2. So I am shaded this away. There is my graph to the solution. So number 4, what operation is currently going on? Division. division. Opposite of division is? Multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by? Three. Three. I get the variable left. Bring down my inequality sign. What is nine times three? Twenty-seven. 27. All right. So that is my solution. Any number that's larger than 27, I can pick. But before you give me an answer, we want to be smart about stuff. I could say 28, but if I had to divide 28 by 3, I don't think it would make me very happy. No. Why would it not make me happy? Because it doesn't it's, it's not dividing equally, and I don't want to cause more 30, work 30, than 30, I have 30, to. 30, 30, 30. So 30 is a great option. Oh, really? Last time I checked, 4 was not greater than 27. And 4 doesn't divide by 3 evenly. 30. So 4 doesn't sound like the easiest option, or nor the correct option. So I say 30 is greater than 27, and it would divide evenly. So 30 divided by 3 gives me 10. Is 10 greater than 9? Yes. Yes. So it checked out. I could graph this. 27. Want to count by 1's, I guess. I could have counted by 3's if I wanted to. Whoops, that would be a 29. 26. 25. 
Open or closed circle? Open. Open on 27. Is 28 greater or 26 greater? 28. So that it has to be shaded this way. And there we go. Now, adding the little bitty new part. That caused me a bad grade when I was in school. What the heck went on? Okay. Inequalities sometimes involve negative numbers. Remember, when multiplying or dividing by a negative number, be sure to flip or switch the signs. So you have to change the alligator's mouth around. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, I would make squiggles or something. This sentence stars because this is the new part that you must remember. It is important, and guess what? You probably will forget it, so don't forget it. Number five, I have another inequality. What operation is going on? Multiplication. multiplication. Opposite of multiplication is? Division. Division. Who am I dividing by? Negative four. Negative four. I said divide and negative in the same sentence. So that should trigger, trigger flashlights going off in my brain that something has to happen. Well, what has to happen? The inequality sign has to be flipped because I said divide and negative in the same sentence. So this still cancels out. I get K with my inequality sign, 22 divided by a negative four. Well, if I do the division, goes in there five times with Two left over, put a decimal, add a zero, 5.5 times. That's all good. So is it a positive or a negative 5.5? Negative, because of the positive divided by a negative is a negative 5.5. So any number that is greater than or equal to a negative 5.5 will work for this problem. So if I'm to check this, don't shout out anything until you think about it. If I'm to check this, I know I've got to multiply some number times a negative four, and I want to be smart about the number I pick. I could pick any number that's bigger than a negative 5.5 but I want to be smart so I don't cause myself more work and have to do division like this. Well, I always ask myself, is zero first? Is zero greater than or equal to a negative 5.5? Yes. It worked, what? No, no. Yes. Yes, because it's negative. Zero is bigger than a negative 5.5. I'd rather owe somebody zero dollars than owe somebody five dollars and fifty cents. Zero's bigger. So I can use zero. Negative four times zero is? Zero. Well, is zero less than or equal to a 22? Yes. That is true. So that's good. So I can graph this. Do you ever see decimals written on these little tick marks? No. no. So what should I put on this tick mark? Five. Negative five. What would I put here? Negative six. Negative four. It gets bigger. Negative three. Negative three. Smaller. Negative six. And negative seven. Remember, negative numbers are a little different. 
So if I had to plot a negative 5.5, where would it fall? In the middle of negative 6 and negative It would five. fall between negative 6 and negative 5. Open or closed circle? Close. Close, because it has an equal sign. Okay. Is negative 5 greater than or is negative 6 greater than a negative 5.5? Five? Five. Negative 5. So I need to shade this way there would be my graph so the only difference i taught you today was flipping your sign if you divide or multiply by a negative number so moving to negative or moving to number six what operations going on Division. division. What's opposite of division? Multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides. What am I going to multiply both sides by? Negative two. Negative two. Uh-oh, I said multiply and a negative in the same sentence. What do I have to do? Flip, Flip the sign. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to write my variable. That canceled out. 5 times negative 2. Negative 10. Negative 10. Variable is by itself. Okay, so I need to check it. But remember, I'm going to be smart. I know I'm going to have to divide by a negative 2. And I need a number that's smaller than negative 10. What is smaller than negative 10, but will still divide by negative 2 good? Negative 12, negative 14. Could I do negative 13? I could, but I would have a decimal. So I want to pick some number that's going to make life easy. Negative 14 is good. What is negative 14 divided by negative 2? Positive 7. Well, is positive 7 less than 5? Oh, greater than 5? Yes. Yes. All right, I can graph this. I am going to... You are? Why? Just steps to remember. Um, what would go here? What if I wanted to count by fives? This would be a negative five. What would this be? Zero. This would be negative 15, negative 20. Okay, open or closed circle? Open on 10. Is negative 15 less or is negative 5 less? Negative 15. negative 15 is less. So there is my graph. I'm going to show you one more problem that some people struggle with. Number 10, take a look at number 10. I'll get there in a second. Okay, I'm there. Oh, gosh. There I am. Number 10, what operation's going on? Division. What's opposite of division? Multiplication. I'm going to multiply both sides by what? Eight. Eight. Was eight negative? No. So I'm not flipping. Some people <laughs> think just because this number over here is negative, I need to flip. No, only the number you're moving over, if it's negative, you flip it. Some people think just because this says minus 16, I need to flip it. Well, am I dividing or multiplying by a negative? No. No, so I would not have to flip it. So this would still give me something like that. So I want you to try 7 and 8. When you get them done, raise your hand. I will check and you will be allowed to move on to your homework. What was that saying at the end? Hope you get good grades. 
Oh, no, there was something else. Oh, oh, thank you for watching and hope you get good grades. Okay, checking your answers to seven and eight. Here is multiplication. I would divide by a negative seven to both sides. And eight, I'm adding 16 to both sides to get those solutions. Ooh.